Hello, everybody. <laughs> I almost sound like Um It's Trifle here, and today we are going to be showing you how to do the Spec Ops mission Sniper Fight on Veteran and you. A maximum 3 out of 3 stars. Now, I'm teamed up with my good friend Adam, aka XGPX Whistler. Or Whistler, because XGPX is the clan tag. So, um, me and Adam decided. Okay, what the hell? Let's do this. We're going to see what are the uh, Spec Ops missions we can do. So, to start off, I'd advise that you grab some clay mods. Now, I was actually on this, I didn't realize that the uh, credited control thing didn't spawn straight away, so I waited there to take it, and I realized it's not good. So, then I get on with the wave. And what you should do though, set clay mods down during the first part, set them. I have at least one at this ladder uh, at the front here, and go downstairs behind you and set some down there. Uh, you'll see me do that in the next wave. So, both of you should be using your snipers. Uh, try to get collaterals when you can, especially when they're running in, it can be pretty useful. You can grab yourself an achievement or trophy if you don't already have it. Uh, just take your time picking them off with the sniper rifles on this one. Get hit, get behind cover, let your health go back up. Um, you, you know, you, there is guns over there with uh, various better for close range weapons, but I don't think we really needed them. Although, there is a heartbeat sensor on an M249, or an M240, I think, and um, you should pick that up if you can. Uh, it, if you know your partner's not using it, because it is pretty useful. Okay, so I'm setting some claymores down here. Um, the issue is it's going to be a huge explosion anyway because uh, of all the cars and a big tanker. There are some more claymores down there over there, but I didn't need them just yet. Um, so as soon as you can use the Predator, call one in and aim for a closely congregated group of troops. You want to take out as many as you can with the Predator, it's an invaluable tool and indispensable on veterans. There, we hit pretty lucky because I didn't set a claim on there, and uh, I think I set one now after I realised I should have put that in the first place because he climbed up the ladder and luckily I was there to knife him as soon as he got up, but that could have been catastrophic. And there you see all my claymores have <laughs> blown up. I think it's because I predated the area, but so there's this last guy, or there's two actually. But uh, I think Adam gets the other one. Yeah, Adam gets the one over there. And then uh, the other guy is just down here. As soon as my nade's about to blow up, he gets shot by it. <laughs> so, uh. Also, don't forget you do have nades. Many people forget that they have grenades on this level. Uh, here I take a P90, just in case. Close encounters. When you use the Preds at the start of the round, take out the truck. Because you can get yourself a nice quarter of the kills already with that. You see, we're already down to 13 hostiles on this wave. So I'm just using the peanut bit here, but you should definitely use your sniper. The stick your sniper. And uh, I actually had to change my settings because my brother had been on and changed uh, my control scheme. And to my uh, my sensitivity. So uh, and now we have another predator missile. And yeah, three there. Oh, I got the whole. <laughs> I actually got the whole rest of the wave there. Okay, so 24 hostiles and one jeep in this round. I go set some down here. It was risky because of the I did I pick up? Yeah, I picked up the other flame was. Um, just to see what that film was. So, yeah, I was just messing with my control scheme. <laughs> Alright, calling in the uh, Predator and getting the Jeep, so there we go. There's a good amount down now. I'm just down here. Uh, I don't know why, but I revived him anyway, so that's not a problem. You're going through these. If you get down, it's no problem. Just stay calm. So if you should partner can revive you. And. The using the Barrett in single player in the Spec Ops Robert, is a lot easier than using it in uh, in the actual oh, pardon me, in the actual multiplayer. Um, I found it is 
I mean, it has very little recoil, if any. Uh, you can't trigger finger it, you can't flare it any faster than it early goes, so... That's one thing to remember when using it. So, we've got 30 hostiles, 1 jeep, and 1 troop transport in this one. Now, I can't remember what I go for with this. Now, if you do it, you should go for the jeep, the, the troop transport, and I did that. So, that's a quarter down already. And then the jeep, you can actually kind of take out pretty much everyone in the jeep before they get out. Uh, we did nearly that. I think it was just one guy, so... I and they're just blowing them away with the uh, Barretts. Um, make good use of your radar and your mini-map on this, because it'll be invaluable to know where they are, because they're pretty much constantly shooting at you, so you're going to have red dots on there, and then you know where to look and where to snipe. And now, uh, AGM missile comes online, two left there. Like, you think Adam kills one while I'm doing this, and then I can't get this guy. For some reason, I didn't get that guy, and then... Uh, we actually spent ages trying to get this one guy now, because uh, I think that there was a lot of smoke there, I couldn't quite see where he was. Um, and as you'll see, I eventually found a better way to take him out, and this nade didn't get him either, but... Oh, AGM missiles online. You know what, screw this, let's blow it up. And Adam's actually running off to kill him there, but luckily I did that before anything, any harm came to Adam. Okay, so guys, uh... Remember these tips, and you'll have three stars in no time on Snapfire on Spec Ops. Stay tuned for more Spec Ops Guides with Gaming Pants.